my file of hacks. But this one will do. Slim, slim line. I don't need many pages, but I have this notion that it'd be useful, especially in these changing times, to have a a summary of my expenses rather than keeping everything in my file of hacks. Um, not my file of hacks, my filing cabinet. Um, to have a summary of expenses in my file effects so that I can more easily see the creeping increases in the price of just about everything right now. It's certainly a good time to do it because certainly in the UK um, we're seeing increases in the price of fuel for the car, electricity, water, um, We've just seen the cap raised for gas by, I think it's 81%. Council tax is going up 4%. Insurance, well, insurance is actually fairly stable at the moment. Um, the insurance policy for my house hasn't gone up and the insurance policy for my car has gone down, probably because, probably because uh, we're doing fewer miles these days. My mobile phone bill has gone up. My broadband is going up, and my groceries are shooting up. And I guess it'll be easier to help combat fraud, spot any bank errors, to have that data at my fingertips during negotiation, perhaps. Maybe create an interesting record of expenses for my descendants. And generally help encourage me to tread more lightly on this planet. Now, I quite like this lined paper stock from 1996. It's 60 grams per square metre. Certainly not fountain pen friendly, but I like it. Will it deteriorate over the coming decades? I don't know whether it's, uh, it's going to last. But will my descendants be OK with my choice of paper? Hopefully they will be well. Anyway, I'm waffling here. So... I did consider using dividers, but it's no imposition to to run through these pages alphabetically. So using dividers is probably overkill and flattability is not an issue here because this file of facts will only be used for reference rather than as a working tool that needs to be constantly open on my desk. So for many possible reasons, but particularly since we're all facing the most significant changes to our living standards since, some people say, the 1950s, it's perhaps even more important than ever to keep one foot in the analogue world. Thank you for watching another video from the analogue world. I really appreciate your support and an extra special thanks to my Patreon supporters. I have another exclusive video for you very, very shortly. Bye for now.